You know, there's this idea floating around, which I totally buy. It's this notion that we are already cyborgs. You know, people are so dystopian when they think about the future of technology. What they fail to realize is that we have been in a feedback loop, in a self-amplifying feedback loop with our technology since the origin of language and stone tools, for Christ's sakes. We use our technologies to extend the boundaries of what we are. Our tools are our exoskeletons. They are scaffoldings, extending our thought, reach, and vision, as Andy Clark says. There's a book by Andy Clark called Natural Born Cyborgs, and him and David Chalmers, they coined the extended mind thesis, which is this idea that we're literally extending the boundaries of the human mind with these technologies. Our smartphones are extensions of our cognition. They are examples of distributed intelligence. iPhone, therefore I am. I mean, literally, and this idea that, that our second skin is our technology, it's our turtle shell, it's our exoskeleton, is, is, it sort of blurs the boundary of sort of saying that there's nature and then there's technology, and that in fact, it's all on a continuum, and we just smack in the middle between the born and the made, as Kevin Kelly says. But even Nietzsche used to say, man is a bridge and not an end. We are a means towards self-extension. Our technologies become part of our skin. We must get over our skin bag bias. The biological skin bag is just one membrane. Our cells have membranes too, but our body's still a part of us and our tools are a part of us. We transcend membranes. We extend ourselves. That's what we do. We are already cyborgs. I mean, I do think that there's a potential path here, which is and we're really getting into science fiction or create, create you know, sort of advanced science stuff, but having some sort of uh, merger with biological intelligence and machine intelligence. Um, to, to some degree, we are already a cyborg. Um, you think of like the, the digital tools that you have, your phone, your computer, the applications that you have, like the fact that as I was mentioning earlier, you can ask a question and instantly get an answer uh, from Google or, or you know, from other things.